Hi, boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. Today we have a special guest. Her name is Tumaini. Tumaini, say hi to the boys and girls. Can you say hi? Hi. Okay. We're going to sing a song and then they, we're going to pray. But we're going to sing the song we've been singing the whole week. I want to be like Jesus. I want to grow to be like Jesus. So shall we stand up and shall we sing? Okay. I'm growing up to be like Jesus. I'm growing up to be like Jesus. From the top of my head to the tip of my toes. Inside and outside everything grows. From little to bigger and everyone knows. I'm growing up, 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 I'm growing up, up. Up, I'm growing up, 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 up to be like Jesus. Yeah! When Jesus was a boy, he learned to obey. He listened to his parents, and he was growing up like I am too. I'm growing up to be like Jesus. I'm growing up to be like Jesus. From the top of my head to the tip of my toe Inside and outside everything grows From little to bigger and everyone knows I'm growing up, 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 I'm growing up, 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 I'm growing up, 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 up To be like Jesus Yes Thank you very much, boys and girls. Take your seats and shall we pray? Jesus loves me. I love Jesus. Father in heaven, we want to thank you, Lord, for today. We pray that you'll be with us and as we listen to your word, that you'd open our hearts to understand the things that we're going to learn. Be with us, we pray now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, boys and girls, the past few weeks we've been looking at the Lord Jesus Christ and we've seen how Jesus grew just like you and me. He was able to grow, he was a little baby and he was a little boy and we saw he began his ministry and he went and got baptized. And we realized that Jesus, as the Bible says, was growing in favor with God and with men. He was growing in stature. And boys and girls, we too want to grow to be like Jesus. We want to know more about Jesus. And in knowing more about Jesus, we'd like to walk through the Bible, the New Testament, the Gospels, and look at the stories that are in the Gospels. And today, we'll be looking at a very unique story. After Jesus' baptism, Jesus took time to pray for his, um, his, his... After the baptism of Jesus, Jesus took time to pray for his ministry. And uh, we will read from Matthew chapter 4, verses okay. 1 to 11. And I'll ask Auntie Lulu just to read that for us. Okay, Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. I hope you are there. The Bible reads, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterwards he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself. He shall give his angels charge over you. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. 
And he said to him, All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. Yes, that is the passage of scripture that we would love to consider in the next three or four weeks. And what I want us to look at is we'll begin to look at each temptation, each temptation. So boys and girls, do pay attention. Okay, we know that Jesus went into the, he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Auntie Lulu, what is a wilderness? When I hear the word wilderness, I think of a desert place, somewhere that is isolated. There are not many people. In fact, I don't think there are really people found in the wilderness. Yes, but also there might not be a lot of trees. There's not a lot of water because oh, yes. it's a desert. Mm -hmm. So there are no trees where you can get shade. There's no, there's, there are no rivers. Uh, there's no water. Um, you may find patches here yeah. and there. So Jesus was led into the wilderness. And when he went into the wilderness, we are told he was tempted by the devil. Well, you see, boys and girls, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. And Auntie Lulu has told us what the wilderness is. And he was led there to be tempted by the devil. So, Auntie Lulu, what yes. is temptation? What is to be tempted? Mm, to be tempted is um, simply to be led to do something that is wrong or something that gives you the desire to disobey God. So usually when you are tempted, you are tempted through a weakness. So if you like eating sweets, sometimes you can get tempted to get sweets from mommy and daddy without asking. Then that is a temptation because you know that getting things without asking is wrong, but you still somehow have that desire to do it. Mm -hmm. So Jesus was led into the wilderness to be tempted. Boys and girls, temptation is a real thing. And God wants us to flee, to run away from temptation. He doesn't want us to give in. Like Auntie Lulu said, you have a desire to eat a lot of sweets. And if you desire to eat a lot of sweets, then you find that you are being tempted to eat those sweets when you know it's not good for your teeth. Maybe it's not the right time for you to be eating sweets. And you have such a desire but God wants you to overcome that desire and when you overcome the desire you say no I'm not going to eat sweets I'm not going to take sweets that do not belong to me God is honored and he is happy with you so boys and girls we will be looking at each of the temptations in the coming week and I want you to know that there are temptations, boys and girls, that will come your way. What are some of the things that you are tempted by? Are you tempted to watch TV when you know you're supposed to do homework? Or are you tempted to watch TV when you know you're supposed to go to church? Are you tempted, boys and girls, to take things that do not belong to you because you really want the toy. Maybe you're visiting with someone and you see their toy and you go and you get that toy. Are you tempted, boys and girls, to take what doesn't belong to you? Oh, boys and girls, God gives us the power to say no to temptations. And Jesus was just like you and me. We've seen how Jesus has been growing. And so, even as we look at these boys and girls, we will learn more about Jesus and how he was tempted. So, let's pay attention the coming weeks and we will look at 
the temptations that befell Jesus. So boys and girls, even as Jesus was led in the wilderness by the Spirit to be tempted, God leads us and he will help us to overcome any temptation that we go through if we believe and trust in him. We can follow him anywhere and everywhere. He will guide us and lead us. So we will sing that song before we close. So shall we all boys and girls stand up and sing this song. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus everywhere, anywhere. I will follow him. I hope that is your prayer and that is what you truly do. Let's stand up and sing. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow him. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I will follow him. Follow him. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere, everywhere, I will follow him. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I will follow him. Again, boys and girls, I hope you will follow Jesus, that you'll grow to be more and more like Jesus. So until next week, we'll say, Bye! Bye.